Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the development, approach and life cycle performance domain. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, traditionally, the predictive uh, life cycle for conducting projects were one step ahead of others such as adoptive, incremental and iterative. However, with the rapid changes in the section and the requirements of stakeholders, it emerged as a necessity to react to the endless changes in the requirements of the project and the stakeholder. For this reason, PMI has now a new approach not to favor one development approach and life cycle over the others. With the tailoring approach, all projects are needed to be tailored according to their nature as one of the projects are need uh, our first steps of the preparation phase of a project. The projected deliverables of a project should be evaluated carefully because to grant the eventual success of project outcomes, the development approach chosen should be compatible with the nature of the deliverables so the endeavor of the project manager and the project team in this step will provide an approach to deliver the value from the initiating phase uh, so it is a vital part of the project value delivery system also in an efficient project management endeavor if you follow the essence of the development approach and life cycle performance to mean you can determine the right development approach life cycle and you can find the proper rhythm to conduct activities throughout the project to create value for the organization and a stakeholder now what is the uh, delivery cadence friend the type of the uh, deliveries of projects may change from case to case some projects may have a single delivery some may have multiple deliveries some may have predict uh, product deliveries Delivery cadence simply refers to the timing and frequency of project deliveries. Maintaining the correct rhythm of activities is important here because the value creation and project delivery are like a heartbeat. When the heartbeat uh, rhythm is steady, it means your project is healthy. If it has irregularities, it may point out potential problems. Now, what are the most common development approaches in project management? When different people may give uh, different names to development approaches, some organizations even may create their own approach. However, the most common ones are predictive, hybrid and adoptive development approaches. The predictive approach is the most familiar one as it was the focus of former PMBOK guides the other name of it is the waterfall approach. It is based on planning as much as possible before performing the project activities. It is useful when we are able to define, collect and analyze requirements at the beginning of a project. When uncertainty exists at the beginning of a project, then the adoptive approach is the most applicable one. In this type of project, Requirements change frequently and the project needs to adopt itself to changing requirements. There are two iterative approaches as iterative and incremental. The third most common development approach is the hybrid approach. It is simply appointed somewhere in the middle of predictive and adoptive approaches. Even if it is more adoptive than being predictive most times, it still has some characteristics of a predictive approach. The development approach and life cycle performance domain is all about the big picture of how you deliver a project. The type of methodology you select, but not the specific methodology you will use, nor the adaptations you make. The general rhythm for cadence of the major events, but not the day-to-day -day scheduling of activities, the broad stages or phases within your project what each stage will focus on and how you will sequence them in time. The PMBOK definitions of the development approach and life cycle performance domain. 
PIMBOX 7 defines this performance domain like the development approach and life cycle performance domain addresses activities and functions associated with the development approach guidance and life cycle phases of the project this is from the IGA guide of project management body of knowledge 7th edition like uh, as we can see our expected definition of development approach and life cycle performance domains is that uh, rather than expanded definition this is I will use fewer words however crucially this definition does imply an expanded range of concerns for the performance domains which I would like to see in future editions of the PMBOK guide. The development approach and life cycle performance domain addresses the strategic approach to de delivering the project. The strategic approach takes in of course development approach, cadence and life cycle phases. But it also includes two big items then I think are missing from the performance domain as PMBOK 7 or Criticulates. Uh, like governance and governance structures procurement and sourcing okay so uh, the, uh, these are the thing then uh, friend the uh, pinbox 7 goes on to define the domain in terms of three desired outcomes which demonstrates that the project team has executed it effectively development approaches that are consistent with project deliverables a project's life cycle consisting of phases that uh, connect the delivery of business and stakeholder value from the beginning to the area end of the project. A project life cycle consisting of phases that facilitate the delivery, cadence and development approach required to produce the project deliverables. Development approach. Of course, you couldn't argue with the Assertion that development approaches need to be consistent with project deliverables, but they also need to be consistent with the political environment and the skills of the team. I would agree that in an ideal world, the team would have the skills to work with the best development approach for the job and it will also concede that ideally, the political environment will allow the selection of the best development approach for the job but we don't live in an ideal world. Project managers need to pragmatist skilled at the craft of make, do and men. So I'm happy with this as long as we recognize that the words say are consistent with and not are optimized to. I choose to think that the authors have been very careful with their wording here. Project lifecycle phases and delivery of value. First, I will take the opportunity to note that the PMI has chosen the word phases as it did in the previous edition. So how you can consider this usage as interchangeable with the stages? Phases is probably the more common term. Association for Project Management Phases International Association of Project Managers Phases International Project Managers Management Association Phases and Stages Prince to stages. So, uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you, friends.